let's talk about graphing calculators, more specifically the TI Empire CX2. Now I picked up this calculator yesterday and it was released in 2019, so it's relatively new in the graphing calculator space. It's multiple times faster than my old calculator that was launched in 1996, the TI-83+. Plus. Now, how much do you think this sells for new? Yes, new. And how much do you think this sells for new? Have you have, do you have your guesses in the comments? You're probably wrong unless if you shop graphing calculators. This calculator from 1996, new, is $100. New. I can buy it right now at Target. I actually saw it as I was getting my new TI, TI Inspire. And that's crazy. There's a $50 difference between these because this sells for 150 bucks. There's only a $50 difference between a screen that's worse than the one on a Game Boy and this new fancy LCD screen with a backlight and rechargeable battery multiple times faster. Like, and I think the primary reason for this pricing is because Texas Instruments basically owns graphing calculators. Like, they are graphing calculators. Like, there is no other graphic... I mean, there are other graphing calculator companies. Casio makes a couple graphing calculators. HP makes their HP Prime calculator. But have you ever actually seen somebody with, like, an HP Prime calculator? No. Because Texas Instruments made the material for schools to use these calculators. So, basically, all the documents and material only show how to do things with Texas Instruments calculators. So if you have an HP Prime, you're on your own because your teacher most likely isn't even gonna know how to work it because all the documentation just isn't there in her handbook because Texas Instruments literally made the standard. Like Texas Instruments made it so that graphing calculators were accepted into schools. So if you don't have a TI calculator, your teacher's not gonna be able to help you basically. Like, unless if they really know calculators and like they're into calculators, your teacher's not gonna know how to help you. So because of that, most schools say, buy a Texas Instruments calculator. Now, do you see where that goes? If everybody buys a Texas Instruments calculator and you're required to buy it, the price can kind of be infinite, can't it? I mean, at a certain point, people just would say this is ridiculous and buy something else. But like a hundred dollars, like that is kind of ridiculous for something that's slower than a hundred dollar Android phone from China or something like it's graphic calculators are at least a decade behind like normal like phones and stuff like they're they lag a decade behind. Like, back in 1996, the screen on the TI-83+, Plus, it's horrible. And they still haven't fixed the problem where the screen ribbon cable wears out. And if you can see here, um, and if you can see here, and like apps and stuff, there's just lines that don't work. They just straight up are broken. Which is the main reason I bought a new calculator. But they still haven't fixed that. Because the TI-83 Plus in stores is exactly the same as this one. It's, it's ridiculous. Like, why is this only $50 more? And why are we required to buy them? We, we, our phones can do this stuff. You just download an app like Dismus or something, and boom. You have a graphing calculator. So why do we have to buy these? Well, it's because teachers don't want you on your phones during school. They don't want you on your phones during class doing calculations on your phone. What if it's a test and you just look up the answers? Like, I mean, I think there would be a good opportunity here for someone to make like a phone that just has its Wi-Fi chip ripped out of it. And it's, mul and it's cellular chip ripped out of it. Sell it for a hundred bucks. 
and it's the most powerful graphing calculator you can buy. Like, it's just insane how Texas Instruments, they, they're they certified for the SAT, the ACT, the AP exams. Like, they're certified for everything. And I don't see why a phone can't also be certified for that stuff. Like, just take out the wireless connectivity, and boom, you have a calculator with a touchscreen for sometimes even cheaper. Like, you could get a calcul an old calculator for, like, as I said, a hundred bucks. Um, you could get it used for, like, twenty bucks on eBay, but, like, does any anybody really want a used calculator? Like, um, like, you might run into that issue where suddenly your screen's lines start disappearing and it just doesn't really work anymore for you. You can't read numbers. Numbers are just cut off. Like, it's so inconvenient that why would you buy a used calculator? And then the new calculators are expensive and the processors in them are so slow. I could take, actually, let me take a 10 year old phone right now. Almost 10 years old. This is the HTC One. M8, I think. Yeah, HTC One M8 Max or something. This was launched in 2014, 2013. Um, it's multiple times faster than this calculator. I guarantee you. It's multiple times faster than that calculator than this calculator like and that's from 2013 think of how cheap they could get better processors i wonder how much the processors they're currently using cost because they're so slow i don't know they must cost like 10 bucks or something like it's just insane um but on these calculators one of the fun things you can do is you can game on them um, I'm going to have a separate video for gaming on calculators. It's how-to guide. Um, but you can game on them, and that's really cool. You can game on them during class and stuff. I don't recommend that, though. Don't listen to your teachers and stuff. You can game on them on not class. Don't game on them during class. Game on them in your spare time at home. Yes. <laughs> Well, that's it for today's video. It was a little rant. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will be trying to upload more videos. I'm sorry. Um, and I'm also thinking of a name change of the Tech Kid Wiz channel. Um, but post your feedback in the comments. Have a good one. See ya. Editor Sam here. Thank you for your support for the Tech Kid Wiz channel. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to up production qualities for you guys by using 8K camera and more expensive microphones. Um, please leave your feedback in the comments and please like the video if you liked it and subscribe if you loved it. Um, and please click that bell for any future videos. Hopefully there will be some soon. Um, thank you.